In today's video, I'm going to share with you a simplified and improved version of smart filament sensor designed by myself for my Warren 2. It's low cost and easy to assemble. So let's begin today's video. There are only two printed parts you need. The first step is put on the rubber bands on the, the wheel to increase the friction between the filaments and the wheel. I have put two rubber bands on this wheel because the first black rubber band is a little thin and uh, the friction is not enough, so I add another rubber band to the wheel. After putting on the rubber band, using the tweezer to adjust the rubber band to fit the slot better. Then putting the bearings into the wheel. Then put the wheel onto the main body. Then assemble the optical encoder onto the body, just with the one M38 screw. After assembling, now let's test the filament sensor with the filament to check whether it can make the wheel spinning. It seems it's working fine. Now let's put it on the printer. It's easy to put it on the printer. Just insert it into the 2020 extrusion slot. Now let's do a test whether the filament sensor is working. Now the printer is printing and I put my finger on the wheel to stop it, it spinning. Now the printing job is paused. If you want to resume the printing, just uh, type in the resume command in the terminal. And one tip is that you You'd better do not use the pause button on the OctaPrint interface because that button will not resume the printing job correctly. You'd better use the resume command in the terminal. This is the pin diagram of SKR 1.4. And the pins in the red square is the pins I connected to. The encoder has three pins to connect. In this diagram, you can see which pins to which pin. And this is the settings in my printer CFG file. You just have to add the filament motion sensor section in your printer CFG file. The setting details you can find on the Creeper official side document.
and a high list of the other parts you need to buy. They are all very cheap and easy to source. And I will share the print file in the description. And uh, so much for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.